Hello Capricorn, welcome to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind energy can go vice versa and this reading won't resonate with everyone. So take what fits and leave the rest out. We have Justice with Six of Summer. Someone's about to return to the past here. Try to make things right, fair, and balanced. Okay, someone's actually feeling really positive about how they feel now, wanting to make a difference. New beginnings. Yeah, letting go, change, trying to move forward, and heart chakra. Awaken your heart center and let love in. So someone's about to express something possibly they haven't been able to do before. Overall energy, Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race with the Knight of Pentacles, but it is the only knight that gets to the end goal and stays, okay? Very loyal, tried and true. So things may not have looked like they were moving all along, but uh, in a sense, they have been. That is our Knight of Pentacles. So let's see what's going on in your energy this week. Eight of Wands, Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, and Strength card. So you have a lot of structure and balance happening this week, okay? So if things have seemed a bit off or you feel like something's always going wrong, this is a week where uh, it really changes and turns towards your favor. You start to feel like almost at peace here and things are moving at a very good pace, okay? So uh, I also see problems getting solved in a timely manner, uh, possibly things that you've been worried about for a while here, especially when it comes to finances or a job. It seems like uh, this is a week where, you know, nothing can stop you. You really are getting things done. I do see in regards to your person, uh, you kind of feel like you've had to put that on hold and hold back, especially from getting involved emotionally with that person, even if they choose to come back, because it looks like they put you in a waiting position for possibly a long time here. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your person's energy. And I just see you here, you're like, I, I am not waiting for around any longer. I just want to move forward with or without this person. Temperance Emperor, two, or, two of Swords. Okay, so this person knows they need to make a decision. So it shows me a lot already. They've been very indecisive in the past to take control and what they needed to do in regards to you and in this connection to make you feel as if they were serious with you, to make you feel like you were loved by them in a truthful way here, okay? I see with the Temperance card, this person has helped back for a reason uh waiting for the right time to really come forward tell me the two of swords please let's see seven of swords devil yeah it was a strategy here they did this on purpose uh they felt like there was something that needed to be done uh in order to uh make a decision okay but they feel like now uh very empowered like something didn't need to change it was how they were looking at it or the perspective they were seeing about you in this connection so they weren't really taking it seriously but something hit them that wow i i want to be with my person like this is my person they actually felt like this could be my divine counterpart here it almost felt like they were attached in a sense and they didn't really see it in the beginning Okay, so let's see what's happened in the past. We have the Eight of Cups, the Six of Swords, Two of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. So there could be distance in this connection or a long distance relationship and this person unwilling to actually move to be with you physically here. I also see that some for some of you, uh, not for everyone, but it's quite literal here that this person had to travel or leave uh, an area where you were at uh, and could, be, could have been for a job purpose or uh, traveling for uh, work, okay? And they were very unhappy about it, but they kind of, they didn't talk to you about it in a sense where you felt like they were going to stay in this connection while they go do that here. 
And for those of you not dealing with that, if that's not your story, what I'm seeing is there's one more group here where this person kind of walked away. They were really fearing, okay, being involved with you in a way where they didn't want to feel tied down, okay? They just felt like in that time period in their life, they didn't want to just be committed or stay with one person. It wasn't you in a sense. They just felt like... Uh, uh, very fearful of it. Eight of Swords, you kind of feel trapped. You feel like, you know, a lot of fears and doubts, especially with the Two of Pentacles, like, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should. I know I feel strongly for this person, but it wasn't until this person left that they truly realized, wow, I made the wrong decision here, or I really do miss this person, and I love them way more than I thought that I, that I did. Tell us the Eight of Cups, please. It was also hard to ever get to a calmer place with this person or be at ease with them because of their inconsistency here. The full card. Yeah, I see travel for a lot of you here. Okay, so it could be distance. So let's see what the challenge was. They chose something very risky when it came to this connection that they could lose you forever. And... Clearly, they know now they chose wrong, okay? Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so this person had a lot of put on their plate, right? They had a lot of pressure, could have worked a job that took a lot of energy and time out, especially if they traveled here. It took everything out of them. Uh, and the Ace of Pentacles, they let this opportunity to be with you uh, in a committed way, they let it slip through their fingers, okay? It is definitely a missed opportunity here that this person regrets severely. And the Page of Swords, it's kind of like this person didn't take you too seriously, right? They thought they cared about you and they did have love for you, but they didn't realize they were completely enamored and in love with you once they had left. So it really hit them uh, all of a sudden. Tell me the Ten of Wands. Yeah, Ten of Cups, Six of Cups. Uh, it became too hard to bear uh, a life without you here. They were constantly thinking about you as the person that they dream of that to be with forever, you know, long term. It's like they didn't think that they would meet somebody uh, that would fulfill that ever, right? They thought that, you know, they'd go probably go from relationship to relationship and uh, what was more important in their life was, you know, material gains or uh, actual finances and having more things in their life, right? Tell me the Ace of Pentacles. Tower. I'm telling you, all of a sudden, when this person left and they realized, like, they cut off communication. And if they didn't, they definitely cut it back so much that it felt like this person was hardly ever coming around. Like it was, and if they did, it was just only for a few minutes or a little bit and it wasn't much, right? Uh, you know how it pertains to your situation, but page of once, like, what did I do here? How did I not see this before? Right? They were so engulfed in other things or responsibilities. They didn't pay attention to how they were feeling. And it's like now they realize, man, I, I'm not even happy doing what I'm doing now. Like all I do now is think about them 24 seven. So it's making them just focus on you and you have no idea that this is going on. Uh, tell me about the action. Let's see what action they take. Please. Thank you. Spirit see what they do about it this week ace of cups king of cups and the eight of pentacles this person is working on a new beginning here but they have a plan set in place a foolproof plan to make uh whatever they're feeling their heart's desires with you uh, turn into a reality here so if this reading is resonating with you in the extended we're going to go over exactly what the secret plan is, what they're going to do about it, as well as the timing and the outcome. But if not, if this is your last stop, thank you for all the love and support. I love you guys dearly, and I will see you next time.